In today's video, guys, I couldn't be more excited and more nervous because we're gonna be finally testing hands-on the prototype of my Quiver pressure washer. Now, as you guys can see, this is a very, very raw unit, right? There's, I mean, everything's kind of all over the place. So this is part of the whole process, right? We've got the exterior uh, design work, all that kind of stuff done, but we got to finalize the production of this uh, and then build the rest of it around it and all that kind of good stuff. So we're on a good trajectory here. Everything's lining up well, but I wanted to be super transparent and open with you guys across this whole process. So we're gonna fire this thing on together for the very first time, test the PSI, test the GPM and see where we're at. Now, for some reason in my shop here today, I don't have an Uberflex hose. Uh, that's typically what I use. Uh, and I actually don't even have a 50 foot steel braided quarter inch size with me. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna be using this one here. This is what came with a, a uh, Ego pressure washer. So we're just gonna use this for the initial test and just kind of get a feel for it. Uh, I, now, nozzles did come with it spec out to get to the numbers that I want. Um, I'll try and manipulate them a little bit if I need to, but I'm hoping, hoping that I don't have to. Uh, right off the bat, let me go ahead and grab my pressure washer gauge uh, right here. So we're gonna test it directly all the way up at the nozzle. So we have a nice digital gauge now. We're gonna go ahead and pull up the uh, nozzle that it came with into the unit. Okay, we're gonna fire this on and we'll be good to go. Now I have water hooked up going into it. The hose coming out, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water source on right now. All right, all that looks good. No leaks or anything. Now, one thing I wanna check for, especially because there's no feet on this thing currently, right? So I don't want this thing to rock too much, especially because the fan back here is very, very close to these pieces. So I wanna make sure we have enough clearance to be good there. And uh, we'll fire this thing on and start testing it. All right guys, so are you ready for the initial test? It's been a long time coming. I know I am ready, I'm very excited here. Uh, again, I have water going through the system. We're just gonna go ahead and purge air out of it. Get all the air out of the line, air out of the pump. Get all this stuff good to go. Seems like we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the machine in. All right, and as always, especially for my recon on, on developing this thing, I wanna test the amp. So we've got the amp meter set up over here. We're gonna plug that into there. Uh, we'll test the PSI, we'll test the GPM. Uh, now noise, uh, one thing to note, induction motor, right? So it should be on the quieter end. Um, however, the casing that we're gonna be putting around this thing, I'm encasing the pump inside of the unit to reduce noise as much as humanly possible. So I'm not gonna worry about the noise uh, uh, reduction right now. Um, we'll get a kind of an idea of how it sounds, uh, but the full production unit will be much, much quieter. All right, guys, we're plugged in and good to go. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I am nervous, but couldn't be more excited about this entire process. I uh, can't wait for this thing to finally be done. Uh, again, this is a part of it. If this goes bad, it's gonna unfortunately probably push the date out a little bit, hopefully not, but we will have to go to the drawing board again. So just wanna be clear about that. So fingers crossed, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and get a reading for the amp meter and again, as machines warm up, they get more and more efficient. I wanna test this right out of the box, because uh, again, as a detailer, we're firing the thing on and we're getting to work. We don't have that time to wait for a few minutes for it to get the, to be its most efficient. So here we go, we're gonna see the amp reading. Again, I'm gonna purge out some air. Okay, we're good. All right, so there it is, amp reading. It's a, a multiple of 10, so it's actually zeroed out right now, but uh, here we go. Okay. There it is. Here we go. All right, so we settled in right around 14.65, 14.7. The first few seconds, it was above 15. Everything that I've learned from uh, uh, this whole process, talking to all the engineers, they say it can run over that as long as it drops quickly. Um, so this is something that I'll be talking to the engineers again about to, and showing them the footage here. Um, but from everything I understand, that is fine. It did drop uh, pretty quickly and we were sitting under 15 amps. So good start. Let's go ahead and test the PSI. Also guys, if you did notice uh, really quickly before we test the PSI, the machine's relatively quiet. So it's shifting. Okay, let me hold it there. It's quite, it, it's quiet. It's pretty quiet. So I'm very excited for that as well. Um, 
let's move on. All right, time for the PS PSI test. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my meter here. Now with this meter, guys, we do it does take a little bit of time to level out, so here we go. All right, so we are sitting between 890 and 895 uh, with this current gauge, which is the one that I just tested the AR with and all that kind of stuff, so I don't wanna change gauges. I have a bunch, a bunch of different ones. Let's do this one real quick and just see, just see what we get. Make sure everything's calibrated correctly, you know what I mean? We wanna make sure we're getting accurate readings here. So just let me do this out of precaution. All right, so I like this number better. <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, I'll have to kind of go back and forth, figure out the calibration, because this meter is getting a little bit different numbers. So I want to be consistent across the board. That way, if you guys want to test them at home, we know where we're sitting. Um, the problem with these gauges, right? A lot of them, like this Measureman one that I, told, I showed you, this digital one, I got off Amazon. It was like 100 bucks. But um, alternatively, this one is from MTM, and I've used this thing forever. And it's always been nice and accurate for me. Uh, then you also have some like cheaper ones from Ridge Washer and things like that. I don't know how accurate those are. Um, this is the one that I've always used in the past. So again, we're sitting somewhere between 890 and 1000. That, that's kind of where my current numbers are at. So again, I'll, I'll do some more testing with that. So there you go, 1000 PSI with this gauge. That's ideal what I would want, uh, just for the, like the ease of like numbers sounding really, really good. There is. Let me adjust this again. There is a ton of pushback on this machine though. So a ton of power coming out of it. Yeah, it feels really, really good. So next up, let's go ahead and test PSI. Actually really quick, I'm gonna get another gauge test or amp test now that it's been warmed up a little bit. All right, here we go. Yeah, so we're bouncing right about 14.5 amps. Now, before we do the GPM test, I just wanna kinda just do some anecdotal tests, just kinda looking at the delay time and all that kind of stuff before pulling the trigger. Very, very, very fast. Essentially no delay. which is fantastic. Also guys, if you notice, I'm using, again, this is that, uh, this is not a still braided hose. This is similar to Uberflex hose. We're not having any surging issues, which was a goal of mine. I wanted to be able to use an Uberflex style hose. So that is fantastic. Hopefully it stays that way, but there's no leaks, nothing going on. The hose uh, is all set up and no surging issues. Everything sounds super precise and exactly how I wanted that. So let's go ahead and do a GPM test. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then I gotta kinda think about more things that, that I wanna do with this and test. Like, obviously, I will be testing on a generator. That's a number one priority for me. Well, not number one, but a top five priority for me that it will fire on a generator because as a mobile detailer, I need this thing to work in my mobile setup. Um, so, let's go ahead and do GPM. As always, I've got my bucket here. I'm gonna spray into the bucket for one minute. That'll give us our gallons per minute rating and then I will go ahead and weigh out the, the, the weight of the water, minus the bucket, and I'll let you guys know. Guys, I gotta tell you, there's a ton of kickback. Feels very powerful, really nice. All right, there is one minute into the bucket. Here we go, guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this thing out. Let's find out what the GPM is. It feels heavy. Okay guys, so here is the bucket minus the lid. There's a little bit of moisture on the lid, so we're losing a little bit there, but this is weighed out. I have it at, measured at 26.9 ounces with no lid. So I'm gonna switch this over to ounces completely. And then we're gonna try and center this thing as best as we can onto... All right guys, those are good numbers. Let me see here, make sure we're getting the full weight on there. All right, so three, 310.7. All right, guys, and the water has actually settled now, and we are at 310.8 ounces. So I've got my computer set up here. What I'm gonna do is plug in the 310.8 minus the 26.9 ounces of water, and that brings us to 283.9 
uh, ounces. Now a gallon of water weight is actually 133.5 ounces. So we're gonna take the 283.9, divide that by 133.5, 2.126. So if you round that up, it's 2.13 gallons per minute. Um, again, when you, this is a brand new, this is a prototype, right? But when you use your machine and it breaks in over time, they get, it gets a little more efficient. So we'll be getting 2.15, 2.2 pretty easily over time. Um, again, we're in the 890 to 1000 PSI range. Um, I'm really, really happy with those numbers. Uh, I would actually like to be able to push that up a little bit. So uh, again, just to be clear on how uh, pressure washers are typically rated at factories, right? Typically they hook it into the pump head they take out one of the valves, they put a meter in there, and that's where they get their rating. Now, there's a little bit of loss through um, from there to the end of the gun. Um, specifically, if you have like an injection valve, uh, that drops it even more. This one, I said, no injection valve, nothing like that. We're gonna be using foam cannons, no need for that. So uh, that's keeping our PSI and, and GPM nice and high. Again, uh, 890 to 1000 PSI. I'm gonna test that more and more. Um, I'll also do a panel impact test where we actually blast it and get the weight of the water going in. Compare that to a bunch of other others as well because the PSI gauge is fantastic. However, if the calibration is not right, you do get some fluctuations, right? Um, so I'll look at that as well and uh, we'll go from there. And guys, one more thing to keep in mind. Uh, I just remembered this. During my communication with the engineers, th the initial test that I, results that I was getting back from the engineers, after we kind of fine tune everything, they were coming in at about 1,015 PSI. Um, so it would make sense that the 1,000 PSI is where we're at. Again, the, this gauge here is the MTM I've used across all of my reviews. So that one's great. So especially as a comparative, that's the one we should be going with. I just picked this one up off of Amazon. I like it because it's digital. However, I don't know the calibration story behind it. I don't know how calibrated it is. So what I'll do is I'll try and take both of those in, get them officially calibrated, or I'll just reach out to a company that does that and see if they have any gauges that they can send out that are already calibrated. And just to confirm the numbers, because I'm thinking, I mean, it doesn't feel, the machine's feeling extremely, extremely powerful. Again, PSI is important but GPM is really what kind of, as car detailers, what we're really, really focused on. So again, from the performance of just how this thing's feeling right now, I'm very happy with it, but I wanna get a true accurate number so we know without a doubt where that's sitting. All right, guys, so there you go. First impressions for me personally. Now, I please, I want you guys to comment down below your first impressions of the numbers and things like that, what you guys think. Uh, amps, I'm happy with. I'm very, very happy. It's falling right under 15 amps. We're good there. It's exactly what I wanted. PSI is 890 to 1000. I would prefer it was just, it's just that one gauge, I don't know. Now the MTM gauge is showing 1000, that is perfect for me, I would, that, that's, that's fantastic. Um, and then when we go into the GPM, I'm over the moon. 2.126 out of a machine that's gonna be at this price point um, with an induction motor for longevity, like absolute, absolute home run. I'm very, very excited for that. Um, but again, guys, please, Comment down below, let me know your thoughts, uh, thoughts, concerns, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm obviously gonna be continuing to play with this thing. I'll probably 3D print a little cage over this fan and then start using it as my workhorse um, and, and testing it that way. Now, just a side note, I have a pressure washer here. Some of you commented, hey, where'd the big boy pressure washer go? And I am testing this thing out. This is a new pressure washer from a new brand um, and uh, some very, very interesting points with this one, very interesting points. And the performance out of that is very, very good also. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some more side-by-side -side comparisons, testing things out, and, uh, but I, I'm excited for you guys because the, the world of pressure washers in that entry-level price point, uh, you know, sub, I mean, I don't know what I, sub 500, sub 400, whatever. Uh, mine's definitely gonna be un, considerably under $500. So like considerably. So we're shooting for that 299 to 349. I don't know where we're gonna land uh, with all the new stuff going on in the world, um, but I'm gonna try and deliver as absolute much value to you guys as I possibly, possibly can. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for coming along for that experience with me. Again, this is my very first time trying this thing out. I wanted you guys to come along and see where we're at in the process. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you guys on the next one.